greetings and welcome to today's session where we are going to be looking at uh, the format of the new curriculum ICT papers, how are they set, the structure of the papers, and then above all, the construct and element of construct. Once again, this is Kakul Bernard. Thank you for liking this YouTube channel. Please continue to share it to other colleagues so that they get to know what happens in the ICT world. So um, I'm one of the authors of these kind of books. The current one is for website designing. There was that of computer studies for all level, the old curriculum. But there is this one for A level. It's a practical approach. Learners can use it. And these other new curriculum books. Hmm? learners books and teachers guide so today's session we are basically going to understand a construct so we have been talking about a construct a construct 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 so generally a construct we are looking at it as a, a graduate profile which describes what a learner will be as a result of attaining the competencies in a given subject so it is one for every subject, but it has elements or building blocks. Now, I want us to look at uh, the construct in ICT. It is, it is stated that in the new curriculum for ICT, a learner appreciates and uses ICT to solve societal problems. That is the construct in ICT. And now we want to look at the elements of the construct for each paper, paper one and paper two. So to begin with, I want us to start with the theory paper, which is 840 stroke one. So when it comes to the paper one, which is theory, the elements of construct are three. Those are the ones I'm calling EOC, elements of constructs are three. One, a learner appreciates and manages the computer system. Two, appreciates ICT safety and proper management of e-waste. Three, accesses, stores, and shares information using ICTs. There are three elements of construct in ICT paper one, which is theory. So from there, when we are assessing this paper, beginning with the element of construct one, this is what we are looking at. The skill, the score, and the scoring criteria. They are the ones which are more important. So. In, in element of construct one, where a learner appreciates and manages a computer system, the scenario questions that are set on that number, that number is always comparisary. It is, not, it is item one in section A and it is comparisary. So that item one, we are looking at skills like A, if a learner has mentioned relevant ICT tools, has the learner managed to explain how the tool is applied? Is there any judgment or a solution or any recommendation in the learner's responses? And so the scoring criteria is here, and I'm sure you are seeing it very well. That is for item one, which comes from element of construct one. When it comes to section B that has part one and part two. For, for element of construct two, where the learner appreciates ICT safety and manages e-waste, we are looking at the following skills. Has the learner managed to mention, to identify a relevant item, cause or a stakeholder? Has the learner managed to explain how it is applied, used or caused, depending on how the scenario is set? Then we are looking at the mitigation, how they can be avoided. Hmm? 
how they can be solved, something like that, the mitigation measures that the learner has given. So at this point, we are looking at that judgment with reasons. Mm -hmm. But if there is no judgment or there is no reason, the learner scores is zero. So we need to look at this in detail. Please take time and go through this video from the start to the end. Then when it comes to the element of construct three, where the learner accesses, stores, and shares, information using ICT, the skill that we are looking at is, has the learner managed to outline a relevant step, identify relevant ICT tools, explain how it is applied, and then the logical flow of the steps. So you will take keen interest of, of the UNEB samples that were released, you will find that the questions are assessed basing on these skills or on this scoring criteria. So others that may involve, uh, has the learner mentioned all the correct skills, the learner will take three marks. If the learner mentions two correct skills, we'll take two. One correct takes one, no response, of course, no mark. And then are all the steps following the order, two marks, partially following a one mark. Now, Generally, the examination format is that paper one has two sections, that is A and B. A candidate shall attempt only three questions in the whole paper. Section A will consist of one comparison item from the first element of construct, which we have seen above. Then section B, for it, it consists of four optional items. Two from each of the second and third element of construct in the test framework. So a candidate attempts one item from each of the element of construct. So more to that, section B will consist of two parts, i.e. part one and part two. Part one will consist of items from the theme of ICT safety and environment. Then part two will consist of items from the theme of data management and sharing. So a candidate shall answer two items, choosing from item from, choosing one item from each of the parts. And the paper takes two hours and 15 minutes. And so paper one will weigh 50%. So I think that is it. In case you have questions, please put them in the chat, in the comment section. I will be responding to them now and again. Now, briefly on ICT paper two, which is practical, eight for the structure. Let's all look at the elements of construct and how the paper is structured. This one has two elements of construct. That is uh, element one, manipulates data using different application programs. Element two, uses publishing software to design, produce, and publish publications and websites. Those are the only two elements of construct in ICT paper two. And so, meaning that the learner is attempting two items. The paper has two comparison items. Item one, where the learner is manipulating data using different application programs, meaning that the scenario is set and it requires the learner to use more than two applications or two applications, depending on how the learner has interpreted the question. Then element of construct two, which is always for item two, is always on either website design or on using a desktop publishing software. But it means that, but this doesn't mean that the learner would have to choose either or. No, the question comes when it is comparison. If it's website designing, all learners are doing website designing in that year. And if the other year they have set a number on uh, publications, meaning that all learners are going to do a number on desktop publishing. Hopefully that is clear. Let's continue. This one, we had looked at it in the previous video. If you do not watch, please check in the 
description have included that video there. So element of construct one, where Elana manipulates data using different application programs, we are, we are assessing skills like use of appropriate application, data entry, tabulation of data, editing, formatting, uh, relevant use of application tools. Maybe the learner has used things like mail merge, the learner has put some captions, or the learner has inserted logos in a, a database form, something like that. Then representation of data uh, by use of multimedia clips or graphical objects. And then lastly, has the learner managed to bring out a soft copy and hard copies? That is the product. So that is how it is assessed. Uh, also for element of construct two, where the runner uses publishing software to design, produce, and publish publications and websites. This is this is the skill we are looking at. Appreciated, I mean use of appropriate application content. Is the runner having matter huh? relevant? I mean uh, relevance of the message, grammar, title spelling, uh, typing skills, date, contact, etc. That is under content. Then the layout of the publication, we need to see organization of the content in the learner's work. Page setup when it comes to publications, uh, uh, paper size, margins, orientation, then graphics. Has the learner managed to put some pictures using maybe support files, clip art, putting symbols, the copyright symbols, as the learner managed to put a logo, or even a video clip. And then contrast, when it comes to font size, font color, background, those ones make up the contrast. Then the publication interface tools, has the learner managed to do maybe hyperlinking, hmm? those are the navigation mm -hmm. links. Uh, has the learner managed to use all those different tools in the different uh, softwares such as the web authoring softwares and the desktop publishing softwares. Then presentation of the product, the file format, if it is website designing, are the files in HTML format? Hmm? If it is a, a publication, is it in PUB? Uh, then finally soft copy and the hard copy. So look at that keenly and see how best you can guide your learners. So the examination format, I've already talked about this, that this will consist of two comparison scenario practical items based on the fourth and fifth element of construct in the test framework. So the themes uh, of data management and sharing, that is application programs, and then the publication. That's where the questions are got from. The paper takes two hours and 30 minutes, and this paper also weighs 50%. So if the number is not on website designing, uh, for example, when you look at uh, this is the UNEB sample item, uh, the, the UNEB sample item one, where the learner is supposed to use more than one application program. And then for item two, this they had set using uh, a learner to design a website using any web authoring software. So if the question is not about uh, uh, website designing, a scenario can be set like this, where the learner is using uh, a desktop publishing software to design maybe something like uh, a brochure, a learner is designing something like a newsletter, something like that. For example, when you look at this kind of question, this kind of scenario question, Kano Coffee Farmers Association is a leading coffee processing business in Kavale District with suppliers from various parts of the region. The management wants to create uh, a static digital publication that showcases coffee products, prices, market trends, and supplier profiles. They want to use a desktop publishing software to design and lay out the publication. The publication will be shared via email and the company's website. Then the task, with your ICT, I mean with your skills in desktop publishing software, help the management create this static digital publication. A support folder called Coffee has been provided, containing files to assist you 
in this task. So that kind of question is about publication. You can as well utilize it. We had already seen uh, the item one. Now item two on website designing, that is an example on item two alternative, which is on desktop publishing. So we have looked at the item one, that it has section A that has uh, mini paper one, that has item one, that is compulsory. Then when you look at the section B has part one, it has item two and item three, the runner will do either item two or item three. Then when it comes to part two, the runner will also do one item, can do item four or item five, but not both. So meaning that in the whole paper one, the runner attempts three numbers in paper two, or numbers are comparison item one and item two. So that is it. I thank you for listening to me. Hopefully this will help your learners very well. Continue to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more updates. And by the way, I'm also available for those who need me to guide your learners on how best they can approach paper one and paper two for new curriculum and also those of A-level. So we can go through these sessions, the examination format, assessing the practical items, elements of construct for practical ICT and theory, website designing, and then generally revising for UNEB in the new curriculum. We understand and appreciate the use of ICT to solve societal problems as the construct. And then we look at those elements of construct for paper one, and paper two generally. So we can go through all this content together with your learners and see how best they can pass their ICT in the new lower curriculum. So that is it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more of the updates and ensure to keep updated. So these are my contacts at the bottom in case you need my services including facilitation, workshops, trainings, and all the ICT resources, including ICT books for new lower curriculum, including website designing books. I'm one of the authors. And also on my YouTube channel, enough content is there. Thank you and Jabres.